Hello everyone and welcome to today's daily devotional. I hope you're all well and have had a really great week. So today I want to jump in to look at the book of Jeremiah. So if you don't know, Jeremiah was this great prophet that God sent to warn Israel about their rebellion and God speaks through him a lot. So let's jump in to um, Jeremiah 20. Set the scene a little bit. So Jeremiah was prophesying all that God had told him to say and there's this guy called Pusha who was in charge at that point um, and Pusha had heard um, what Jeremiah had been saying and um, he had him beaten up and put in stocks so that uh, was what it said um, at the start of verse, uh, chapter 20 and then I see a little bit of chain of events going on with Jeremiah um, a little bit of a roller coaster of, uh, of a journey with him, which is what I want to focus on today. So the first thing that happens after this is that Jeremiah gets brave. OK, it says, um, you know, the next day when Pusha released him from the stocks, Jeremiah said to him, the Lord's name for you is not Pusha, but terror on every side. And he just goes on to rip into him and about his family mugs him off like left right and center like he goes in on this guy called pusher so the first thing he gets is brave the next thing that happens is that jeremiah starts crying out to god um in verse seven so he says you know the word of the lord has brought me in so insult and reproach all day long and i you know he goes on to say about how his friends are waiting for him to fail and you know, people, you know, want me dead and, you know, I can imagine him being like, everyone hates me. What I'm trying to do is tell them the truth and all they want to do is kill me off. So he has a proper moan at God um, throughout that passage. So that was the second thing. The third thing is that he got angry. He switches up and he's just like, Lord, let me see you take vengeance on them. You know, just kill them off now. Um, all these people that are trying to kill me, all my enemies, you know, you just kill them off now. So he gets really angry at this point and asks God to basically take his revenge. But then he switches again and he goes from being really angry. And then the next passage is, sing to the Lord, give praises to the Lord. And he starts talking about praising God, um, which is, yeah, really interesting. Um, and then the... Next thing that happens is that he gets really depressed and he says, why did I ever come out of the womb to see such trouble and sorrow and to see my days end in shame? And he says something really deep. He says, curse the day that I was born. And I was thinking about that and I thought that is actually quite an odd thing to say, isn't it? Curse the day that I was born. It must, you know, I can only imagine there must have been his birthday or something coming up and you know so you know they're all making plans what he's going to do and you know if it was in today's context you're probably be like no, i'm not even going to celebrate my birthday i don't even want a cake i'm not even bothered i don't even care about the day that i was born <laughs> so yeah i can imagine that's kind of the how it would be today um one odd thing to say curse the day that i was born and you know he goes really deep um, in that, you know, it says, may, may the day my mother bore me not be blessed. Curse the man who brought my father the news. Like, proper deep. So it's safe to say that he's been on a bit of a roller coaster of emotions here. He was brave at one stage, then he's crying out to God, then he gets really angry, then he's like, praise the Lord, and then he starts getting really depressed. So, not having a good day. I don't know how long, you know, it doesn't say if this was all in one day um, or not, but the Bible doesn't actually give us a specific time scale. But then the next thing that's recorded, it says that Jeremiah was asked to inquire of the Lord. And I would have thought, like, oh, I would have been like, look, I'm not being funny. I'm really not in the mood to be prophesying. I've just had one of those days, you know, maybe just call me tomorrow and we can try again then, but not today thank you <laughs> that's how i can imagine you know after that kind of emotional roller coaster i would have been and probably a lot of people would have been like let's be real in it but no, no jeremiah doesn't say that and that's not what's recorded it says in here that the word came to jeremiah from the lord 
He didn't ask for it. He didn't strive for it. It came to him. And then I thought, how many times when I've been at the end of myself, I've been so tired or so stressed and just have nothing left to give that God came to me, you know, a word came to me, a ver- you know, a verse came to me, someone called me, you know, the Lord spoke to me. So today I want us to take encouragement from Jeremiah, from his roller coaster of emotions, as I'm pretty sure we can all identify with, especially during this season. Um, you know, and just to know that when we come to the end of ourselves, it is the breeding ground for God to speak to move, to do amazing things, and just to be close to us. So my encouragement is that when we feel like we've come to the end of ourselves, we've been on a bit of a roller coaster, just like Jeremiah, that the Lord will come to us. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!